Hi, this is Aaron for BandLab, and in this video we're going to make a UK drill beat in BandLab's free online DAW. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description, and if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I begin by setting the project tempo to 140 BPM. I'd usually set the project's key at this point as well, but I'm going to use one of BandLab's samples rather than a MIDI part for the music in this project, so I'm going to leave it undefined for the moment. Next, I add an instrument track, then select the Creator Kits category and the Drill Volume 2 instrument. I right-click the instrument track and select Create Region to make a MIDI clip, then set it to two bars in length. UK drill tracks are often based around a repeated hi-hat rhythm with notes on the first and fourth sixteenth notes of the first bar, and the third sixteenth note of the second bar. And I duplicate this rhythm out for the rest of the two-bar sequence. To duplicate MIDI notes and MIDI or audio clips, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and drag them over. Next, I add a snare on the third beat of the first and second bars, and also on the sixteenth before the fourth beat of the second bar. Then I add kicks on the first beat of the first bar, and under the first three hats on the second bar. I like this beat to be a little more snappy, so in the effect panel I add the Dynamics BL1176 effect, I turn the ratio down to 4 to 1 to make the effect less intense. Now that I've got a rhythm, I want some music that'll fit with it. I could compose something myself using BandLab's various virtual instruments, but I know there's some great drill loops in BandLab's sample library, so I'm going to check those out instead. I open the sample library, select the Loops tab, and set the search filters to Keyboard and Hip Hop Trap. Drill Trap Key 6 has the vibe I'm looking for, so I drag it into the project. If you haven't already set the key of a project, BandLab will automatically set it to the key of the first musical loop you add, so now the project key has been automatically changed to E minor. And I duplicate the drum clip so that it plays for the duration of the drill keyboard sample. I'd like this loop to sound more lo-fi, so I open the effects panel. First I add a tone multi-filter effect, which I set to high pass mode with a frequency of 700 Hz. This takes out the low end, making the loop sound thinner. I then add another multi-filter, this time keeping it in low pass mode and setting the frequency to 3 kHz. This dulls the top end. Next, I add a modulation Vibe 2 effect. This will do two things for me. First, it applies a vibrato effect to the sound, which when used with a low amount, I'm using just 0.2 here, gives it a subtle wow effect, making it sound as if it's sampled from an old vinyl record or tape. It also makes the sound mono, which gives it more of a lo-fi feel. While I appreciate the stereo width reduction created by the Vibe 2 effect, I don't want this part to be completely mono, so I add a modulation stereo chorus effect and turn down the depth to 18% to make the effect more subtle. I want this part to be quieter relative to the drums, so I turn it down to negative 5 dB. Now I need a bass line, so I add a new instrument track and select Synth Bass 808 Saturated Bass. I use this to play a simple bass line that goes A, F, E, G. Mm -hmm. 
I want the bass to sound dirtier, so in the effects section I add a distortion BL driver, which gives the bass more energy in the mids and highs, making it sound rougher. I also want the highs to be smoothed out a little, so I add a multi-filter and set its frequency to a little under 200 Hz. I also want this sound to be loud for the duration of its tail, so I add a BL1176 and again set the ratio to 4 to 1. To balance this track with the other elements, I turn it down to negative 3.5 dB. Currently I feel the mix sounds a little too clean, and I want to add a little tape noise to give it a touch of analog flavor. So I head back to the sample library, clear the filters, and enter tape into the text search field. Cursor tape noise 1 is the kind of sound I'm looking for, so I drag it into the project, use the loop handle to extend it to the length of the sequence, and balance it by turning the track down to negative 4 dB. For the final element, I'd like an abstract vocal sample, so in the sample library, I set the filters to voice and hip-hop trap. Vocal filler loop is perfect, so I drag it into the project. I want to make the vocal louder, so I add a BL1176. This makes it much louder, so I turn the track volume down to negative 7.5 dB. I'd like the vocal to repeat at the end, so I slice it two beats from the end by moving the playhead into position and pressing S. I delete the audio clip after this point, then slice again at the start of the bar and duplicate the chopped section over to create the repeating effect. For the arrangement, I start off with the piano, tape sound, and just the hats from the drum track. In the next section, the kick, snare, and bass line are added. vocal comes in next, in the next section it's taken out again, and the beat drops out for a couple of beats to give us a false breakdown. For the next section the musical loop takes a break, then we have an actual breakdown with no kick and snare. After the breakdown the arrangement basically repeats from bar 9. Remember you can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!